Time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Nadia, my first Thorns guest on The Breakaway. So excited, it's you. So I had the opportunity to be with you guys up in Seattle for your first win against the rain in Seattle. How good did it feel to check off that box and how did the team get it done? I mean, glad to be here as your first <laughs> guest, obviously, feel honored. Um, the game against Seattle was awesome. I felt we played really well, created a lot of chances. Usually that's something that is hard against Seattle because they're so good with the ball. But that day we really wanted, wanted the three points uh, and yeah, getting the three points in their, um, at their stadium was amazing. That win in Seattle was the 50th for the team, the first NWSL team to reach that milestone. What is it about the Thorns that enabled you guys to be the first to hit that mark? I mean, if you see the roster we have, it's a great, um, great talent, a lot of great players. Um, and I felt at the beginning of the season, we did struggle to play the way we wanted to play. We didn't really create a lot of chances, but this has been changing the last couple of games. and. Um, the way it looks, I think we're going to continue um, and add to that number. Well, you guys have won six of your last seven. What's clicking? How do you keep that momentum going in this crucial stretch of the season? I think we now know where we have each other on the field. Um, and we we know what we want. Like, we want to really this title. Uh, we want to bring back to Portland. Um, and it shows the way we play, the way we attack. Um, and, yeah, winning the games. So you have four games left, two home games left. The first will be this weekend against Washington Spirit. They played midweek. They're going to travel across the country. How can you use those two things to your advantage as you try to pick up the full three points? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's they're going to be tired um, uh, and they're away. The travel, you know, we know how hard it is on your body. You like travel from one side to the other country, but that shouldn't be. Um, that shouldn't be anything we are going to try to focus on. We're going to try to continue the way we want to play um, and hopefully get the three points on Saturday in front of our yeah, crowd. I wanted to ask you what it's like to have all of the players now coming back from injury. I mean, yeah. we found out this week Tobin Heath is now off the disabled list. A big deal for the team. She'll likely be available for the playoffs. How big is that boost? What does it do for the team? I mean, that's fantastic. Tobin is a great player and we missed her, uh, miss her off and on the field and now she's ready for the playoffs. I mean, that's such a such a key p player to have back. And I know I spoke to her, she's hungry to be play uh, to come back and play again. Um, so that's amazing, amazing that you have so many great players and I'm happy that I'm not Mark Parson because he, it's that's, a a hard, hard, that's a hard, hard job. Uh, right now to pick the, the roster. So you have some wonderful fans here, uh -huh. as we know, in Portland. <laughs> but you were just telling me about a couple that have Dr. Nadine jerseys yeah. <laughs> made. Have you figured out who it is? And uh, Yeah, they actually tagged me on Twitter. I, I love their jerseys. We saw them at the, um, uh, our event yesterday. And uh, I've, I've seen actually a couple with those jerseys. They're pre pretty awesome. And I love our fans. And yeah, I wish... I had the chance to assign them for them. Well, hopefully we can find them. And for yeah. guys, that, people that don't know, Nadia is in her last semester of medical school. Two going, semesters left. Two yeah. semesters left, going to be a doctor. What are you studying? Uh, well, I'm studying to become a doctor, uh, and the goal is to become a surgeon, a plastic surgeon. So Amazing. And before you go, just have to ask about your experiences at the Euros this summer. How incredible was it to make such an amazing run with the Danish national team? Uh, it was amazing um, coming so far with the national team and um, and obviously sh proven a lot of people that we are a great team and what the f like women's football uh, can do. Um, it's been yeah a huge experience and really happy that I was a part of that. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. You were an amazing first <laughs> Thorns guest to have here on the Breakaway. Good luck this weekend against Washington Spirit. Thank you.